The universe is shifting, and it has sent your guardian angels to deliver a curious message regarding someone you might not be on great terms with at the moment. They didn't expect to feel regretful after their last encounter with you, and they don't know how to apologize. The angels say, Imagine for a moment the universe with its vast enigmatic expanses reverberating with energies unknown and unseen as it subtly shifts weaving through the cosmic tapestry. It orchestrates a melody, a harmonious tune that whispers secrets to your guardian angels. And so, under the celestial dance of stars, your guardian angels, glowing with an ethereal brilliance, embark on a divine mission to convey to your poignant message, a message wrapped in layers of remorse and entwined with tendrils of longing from someone with whom your soul has danced before, yet now rests upon a turbulent pause. Picture their spirit enshrouded with a mist of regret, a shadow that was never intended to be cast upon your being. Can you perceive their heart hesitatingly reaching out, yet trembling by the uncertainty of crafting an apology that could mend the tendrils of disconnect that have sprouted between you. This was someone very close to you until they behaved in a way that was upsetting to you the last time you encountered them. They never anticipated their mistake and they sincerely want to apologize, but they don't know how to go about doing that. How often do we, wrapped up in the cocoon of our own perceptions, overlook the gentle waves of emotions that cascade through the hearts of those we hold dear. Imagine the internal turmoil, a tempest whirling within them as they recollect that fateful moment when words, unintended in their malice, slipped from their lips, forming an abyss between your entwined souls. Can you envision their nights, shrouded in the darkness of remorse, where echoes of that moment replay? each reverberation undefined their wish to turn back the hands of time to retract the words that cast shadows upon your countenance. Do you sense the fragility of their apology, veiled in uncertainty, trembling on the precipice of expression, yet stifled by the fear of causing you further pain? I repeat, they didn't expect to feel bad after your encounter, and they wish to offer you a heartfelt apology, but aren't sure how. Take a moment and place yourself within the echoes of this repetitive declaration, finding within it an undertone of a desperate plea, a silent yearning for redemption wrapped in vulnerably tender authenticity. Have you ever stood on the precipice of apology, where your spirit aches to mend what has been torn, Yet words fail, tumbling into the abyss of unsaid emotions, leaving behind a lingering heaviness, a sorrowful melody of unexpressed remorse. In this repetition, find not just words, but an entreaty stretching out from the depths of a shattered heart that seeks solace in the hope that perhaps its sincerity will weave through the barriers of past pains and find a soft landing within the sanctuary of your understanding. People make mistakes all the time. Humans are flawed creatures, after all, so nobody is perfect. That is not to say that this specific person's mistake was justified. Your reaction to what happened was understandable, and you had every right to feel as upset as you did on that fateful encounter. It just means that, in these specific circumstances, this person's intention was not to cause you harm in any way. And isn't that the intrinsic tapestry of our humanity? A melange of imperfections, missteps, and unpredicted outcomes that dance to the rhythms of our individual experiences and perspectives. Reflect for a moment on your own journey. Have there been times when your actions 
unwittingly cast shadows upon another's spirit, despite your intentions being as pure as a gently flowing stream. Consider the possibility that within our flaws, within our inadvertent missteps, lie hidden pathways to deeper connections, to a profound understanding that blossoms when we navigate the complex terrains of forgiveness and reconciliation. What seeds might germinate from the soils of this understanding, and how might they transform the landscapes of our relationships, enabling them to blossom into forms that are richer, deeper, and more intricately beautiful than ever before? That's the reason why they have felt so bad ever since. The encounter in question was surprising for them, because they weren't even aware that they said or did something hurtful until they saw how you reacted to it. And they didn't try to justify it to themselves or tell themselves that you overreacted, as is the case with many people who don't want to admit that they made a mistake. Indeed, isn't there a unique sort of agony in unintentional wounds, where the sting of hurt is not only in the pain it imparts, but also in the stark, unexpected revelation of its occurrence. Imagine their soul, now entwined with a piercing vine of realization, confronting the mirror of their actions through the reflection in your eyes, feeling an unanticipated fracture in the symphony of your relationship. What does it mean to traverse this emotional maelstrom, to stand amidst the storm of unintended hurt and navigate through the uncharted territories of reconciliation? Can a bridge be built upon the turbulent waters of miscommunication and hurt, creating a passage to new beginnings, threaded with the delicate strands of understanding and forged with the robustness of shared pains and mutual healing? In fact, it was quite the contrary. It might have taken them a while to understand what exactly they'd done wrong, but there was no mistaking the look on your face, which they instantly felt terrible for causing. They since reflected on their actions, and they want nothing more than to offer up a sincere apology and fix their relationship with you. Embark with me on a journey into their introspection, where the echoes of your expression play an endless symphony, each note a reminder of the dissonance unwittingly created. The solemnity of your gaze has etched itself into their conscience, becoming a persistent whisper that speaks of a pain unknowingly inflicted. Can you feel the tendrils of their repentance reaching out, trembling in the abyss between knowing and understanding, bound by the shackles of unvoiced regrets and unsent apologies? How often have they revisited that moment, poring over its every detail, seeking the key that would unlock the mystery of your anguish, longing to rewrite that chapter where the melodies of your souls were untimely discarded. There lies a profound depth in their reflection, where the waves of regret and wishes for reconciliation ebb and flow, carving into their being a cavern of longing for your forgiveness. But how does one navigate through the murky waters of unexpressed apologies and unarticulated hurts. The only problem left is that they're not sure how to do that because they still don't fully understand how they could have hurt you. Some mistakes are born of malicious intent, but most are driven by differences in beliefs, personalities or perspectives between the people involved. In this case, this person like they missed something some crucial detail about you that would give insight as to why their specific behavior caused the reaction that it did. Dive deeper into the ocean of their perplexity, a vast expanse where the waves of their confusion and desire to understand coalesce into a tumultuous sea of restless pondering. Can we ever truly comprehend the intricate tapestries that weave the core of another? understanding fully the threads of experiences, beliefs, and nuances that form the delicate fabric of their being. 
ponder upon the complexity of human emotions, where the same action can be a gentle breeze for some yet a tempest for others, all based on the unseen, unspoken histories that whisper within our souls. Imagine the person navigating through this enigmatic ocean, where every wave may hold the secret to your pain, yet every droplet seems to elude the clarity they so desperately seek. Is it possible, in our endeavours to comprehend the incomprehensible, that we discover bridges that connect our disparate islands of understanding, forging pathways that lead to the harmonization of our discordant melodies? But once they understand that, you can rest assured that they will be committed to mending the rift they've created between you two. It's all right if you have doubts, but your guardian angels wish to reassure you that this person's intentions are pure. They would never intentionally hurt you, and they'll do anything to make up for what they've done, so try to hear them out. Within the cocoon of their newfound understanding, Imagine a resolve being forged, strong yet tender, sculpted by the delicate artistry of remorse and genuine intent. Picture a garden where the seeds of reconciliation are sown with hands that tremble with the fragility of regret, yet are steadied by the sturdy resolve of sincere amends. How does one cultivate a field where the flowers of forgiveness might bloom amidst the thorns of past hurts. Can you sense your guardian angels, their luminous wings enfolding this scene, showering upon it a gentle rain of assurance, whispering to your soul that the hands that once unwittingly caused pain now extend, palms upwards, in a silent plea for understanding and a chance to rewrite the future? How do we, as beings intrinsically intertwined through invisible threads of collective experience and emotion, find within us the capacity to navigate through the intricate dance of apology and forgiveness, crafting a symphony that tells a story not of Russia, but of embracing, understanding, and redefining what has been and what can be. I want to end with a prayer for you. Lord, I lift up their weary heart to you, for they carry the burden of a broken connection, a missed step in their journey. In the cosmic dance of life, let them find the strength to mend the frayed threads of their relationship, to seek understanding and offer forgiveness, for we are all imperfect travelers on this shared path. Help them find the strength to bridge this divide, to forgive and to listen allowing the melody of understanding to replace the dissonance of their past. May the universe's wisdom guide them, and may their souls be touched by the gentle hand of reconciliation. Amen. Let the meaning of this message sink into the depths of your soul. Don't forget, everyone deserves to be given a second chance. Envision the words, not merely as a collection of letters, but as golden threads weaving through the canvas of your spirit, each strand a gentle reminder of the boundless capacity for redemption that dwells within each of us. Can you feel it, the tender fluttering within the recesses of your soul, where understanding and forgiveness bloom, perhaps hesitantly, yet with a quiet, unyielding strength? Reflect, dear one, upon the times when you too stood at the doorstep of second chances, your heart a quivering echo of hope and trepidation, silently pleading for grace. Remember the feeling of warmth, the gentle embrace of forgiveness that once enfolded you, and consider extending your own arms, forging a sanctuary where both you and the other may find solace and healing amidst the ruins of past hurts. For, in the realm of second chances, we not only unveil pathways to healing, but also discover the potent magic that emerges when two souls choose understanding over resentment, 
forming a bond that transcends the frailty of past misgivings and blossoms into something profoundly beautiful and infinitely stronger. Type 999 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. The universe sees it as an act of kindness that fuels the cycle of good karma. You'll be spreading positivity and receiving the universe's blessings in return. Let's uplift each other and create waves of good energy together. I also want to pass on one more time sensitive message from the angels to you. And you need to hear it today because this is extremely unusual. Someone or something seems to be trying to block you from receiving this urgent guidance. You've been missing countless signals that the universe is sending you. Luckily, those messages are still available to you. Please click the link in the description to find the messages that you missed. An important message is waiting for you in the next video. Will you hear it?